The Steadfast Tin Soldier. This is a story not that old. Manu was a small boy who lived with his parents in a big house. Manu loved toys and had lots of them. Every time a new toy came in the market, Manu's parents would buy it for him. His room was filled with teddy bears and Barbies and race cars. Once, Manu's mother got him a box made of tin. What's in it, Mama? This is for my sweet little boy, the Tin Soldiers. Now you have an army of your own. They will protect you. Wow! My Tin Soldiers. Inside were one hundred small soldiers made out of tin. Out of these one hundred soldiers, there was one very different tin soldier. Oh, this poor soldier has only one leg, Mama. Oh, they mistakenly must have put him here. He is defective. I will take it back. No, Mama. Didn't you say that being different doesn't mean we are bad or wrong? Then he is just different. I will make him the captain. His name would be Captain Tin. Rest all look the same. I can't name them. I will never know which soldier I am playing with. But I will always know who Captain Tin is. He is a special soldier. Oh, my child! I taught you well. You are right. There is no defect in him. He is only different than us. He is special. Manu loved Captain Tin and kept him in the shelf. Listen, Captain Tin, you have to watch over all my toys when I am away. Okay? We are a team. We will never let go of each other. Manu, dinner is ready. Okay, Captain Tin. I will see you later. Tin loved his human. As soon as Manu closed the door behind him, all the toys came to life. Tin was watching everyone. The panda stretched his back. The giraffe, who had fallen down very awkwardly, stood up and stretched his neck. Barbie turned her neck, which was facing the wrong side. Oh, oh, playtime! Oh, where is Manu? What is wrong with you? He was playing with us just a few minutes back. Ah,、oh, well. I am a bat. I sleep during the day. It's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> But Tin had stopped listening to them. His eyes were stuck at a distant, shiny figure. There she was—a beautiful paper ballerina in a huge castle. She had different shiny sequins on her dress. That which shone the most was a red, bright heart right at the center of her dress. She danced on one foot, with her other foot raised high behind her. There was a beautiful pond right outside the castle. The water shone on her face like morning dew on the grass. Tin could not see anything else. Wow! I have never seen anyone as beautiful as her. Tracy, yeah, she is. She is always on one foot. She is a determined ballerina. Oh,、uh, uh, I am sorry. I didn't mean to disrespect. I didn't know I was talking aloud. Oh, you really are a good soldier, humble and respectful. I am honored, sir. Thank you. That's all he spoke to Mr. Dolphin. But he would never forget what he had said. Tracy, the ballerina. It didn't take time for Tin to realize that he was in love with Tracy. The evening passed. All the toys played and laughed, but Tin had not looked away from Tracy for even a second.、Hmm. I should go and talk to her, but what will I say? Will she accept me? Well. I must at least try. It's better than sitting here and thinking about it. Mr. Dolphin, will you help me get off this shelf? I have to go talk to Miss Tracy. I have to tell her what I feel. Eh, of course. But 
If you don't mind, can I say something? Sure. Tracy is the most beautiful ballerina around, and uh, you are just a tin soldier with only one leg. You think she will accept you? I am sorry, but I like you. I don't want you to get hurt. Don't say sorry. You speak the truth. But bearing just one leg does not mean I don't have a heart. She deserves to know how much I love her. I can't decide what she feels. She can reject me if she feels so. But she has to know first, right? Hmm, I never thought of it that way. You were right. What others think of us is not important. Important is what we think of ourselves. Off you go. Good luck, Captain Tin. Tin took a deep breath and started towards the ballerina. He fell a few times trying to jump towards her. But every time he got back up and jumped with the same energy. He finally reached the castle. He was nervous, but he was sure of what he had to do. Just tell her how beautiful she is and that you would like to know her more. Uh, hello, miss. I am here to say that I am beautiful. Huh? What? Oh, n n no, I mean, you are beautiful. I mean, not that others are ugly, but, but, but I mean, nobody is ugly. This castle is also beautiful. Uh, this pond, the giraffe, and the panda, all are beautiful creatures. Not that I'm calling you a creature. <laughs> I should stop talking. <laughs> you must be Captain Tin. You are not hurt. You, uh, fell down a few times. Oh, yes. It's a little challenging to walk with one leg. Ah, yes. I am sorry. Oh, don't be. Jumping is good exercise, too. Yes. Tracy could not move her eyes away from Tin. She had never seen a soldier who had such a strong will. He was special indeed. I came here to tell you that you are the most beautiful ballerina, and I would like to be your friend. Thank you, Captain. Tin and Tracy spent the whole night near the pond, talking and laughing. It was the best night for both of them. Come, see my new toys. I will introduce you to my new captain. He is strong and handsome. Captain Tin? Oh, where is he? Mama, did you see my Captain Tin? Oh, so many toys. Oh, a tin soldier. Wait, he is broken. I must give him a proper farewell. Let me send him off in a boat. Off you go, soldier. Bon voyage. Oh, no. Huh. What? Where am I going? The water was flowing with full speed. There was nothing Tin could have done. No. Ah! No, I have to get back up there to my human and to Tracy. But before Tin could think anything, he was again falling deeper into the gutter. The flow of the water was slow now, but Tin could neither turn the boat nor jump off it. He knew he would drown in the water. Hours passed, and the steadfast soldier kept trying to turn the boat. But then... No, no, no! The water merged with the sea. The boat was completely destroyed. Tin was made of tin. He tried hard but could not swim. Tin drowned to the bottom of the vast sea. Oh, Tracy, I am so sorry. No, but I will not give up. I am Captain Tin. I will spend the rest of my life trying to get back to Tracy and Wanu. But the challenges were not yet over. As Tin sat up and started to jump to find his way, a big fish came swimming and gulped him. Oh no! Silly fish! 
I am not food. Let me out. The steadfast soldier kept moving inside the fish to get out. The fish was so uncomfortable that it came to the surface of the water. Just then... Got it! I will serve good fish today. The cook took the fish in the kitchen and cut it open with a big sharp knife. Oh, what? What is this? A tin soldier! The cook quickly washed the soldier under the tap. He wanted to show everyone what he has found. After all, a soldier had come back from his journey. The tin felt differently. He didn't notice the cook's face, but he noticed something else. Why does this place look familiar? How could it be? Maybe I hit my head too hard. But Tin was right. He had been there before. It was the same house. He was back to Manu and his love, Tracy. That is my Captain Tin. I had lost him yesterday. Oh, thank you for bringing him back. Tin was happy to see Manu, but his eyes were searching for his dear ballerina. And there she was, standing exactly where she was, waiting for him. As Tin looked at her, his eyes didn't move. He didn't realize when the cook slipped and Tin went flying to the burning fireplace. No! Captain Tin! But it was too late. Tin was melting. But he felt no pain, for he kept staring at his dear ballerina. Tracy, too, couldn't take her eyes off her soldier. If only she could go with him. Just then, Manu had an idea. He quickly ran to the window and opened it. Here, the wind will blow the fire out. But the wind could not blow out the fire. What it did was push the paper ballerina to the burning fire. Oh no, Tracy! All the toys watched as Tracy and Tim burned in the fire. They had a smile on their faces. They were together at last. Till the mother came, the fire had burned the paper ballerina and the tin soldier. Nothing was left of them. <laughs> oh, Mama, Tracy and Tin are gone. Oh, I am so sorry, my child. What is that? Is that a heart? A heart it was. A melted black heart made of melted tin. It had a red-colored smaller heart right at the center, just like the one that was stuck on the ballerina's dress. That's all that was left of her. Manu knew his toys well. He knew what had happened. He smiled and kept the blended heart on the top floor of the shelf. No one could now disturb Tin and Tracy. They would be together always, and Manu would now never lose either of them. Tracy and Tin were now inseparable. <laughs>